yeah, Matthew, but you did intonate earlier that you'd got some form of measurement that you'd then take into calculation to give you your R value. What's pointing out here is there isn't any measurement or interaction at any point. It's all just in calculation and assumption. Earth is a sphere. I'm, all I say is that he used that to measure the radius, not to prove that the Earth is a sphere. The, the same radius so, that you said and, was never measured. Necessarily come up very often, but that's a fallacy in logic called begging the question. Right. If you were trying to uh, prove stop. that the Earth stop. is a globe. Stop. Yes, you was your reply. Your yes, uh, fallacy in logic is your justification for lying to the kiddies. It is a fallacy in logic to say that the uh, to, to use the radius of the Earth to prove that the Earth is a sphere. Correct. Yeah, so I've conceded that nobody's ever measured the curvature of the Earth. That the Earth is a sphere. I'm, all I say is that he used that to measure the radius. Measure the radius. You tell the kids that Aristosthenes did what? Please repeat. Uh, he calculated the radius. No, uh, that's not what, not what you, you said, said before, though. No, I'm trying to explain what I'm telling the kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hate you. Yeah, I hate you. You're the reason I homeschool. You're the reason I homeschool my kids, because I don't want people like you to teach my kids. You disgust me, and I do believe you should be fired. The yes, very fact right. that you've come here, have you taken down your video with the incorrect information that you conceded here when you joined? Have you taken that down? No. And I Scum! Fire him! He's more than content to continue to perpetuate his bullshit lies that he's conceded. He hasn't taken his video down. He's not got an ounce of integrity. Have you, Matthew? Take your video down and put one up with the corrections and acknowledge us in them. Acknowledge me personally for the corrections I gave you and acknowledge the world is flat. I'm not asking you to give your heart to Jesus. I'm asking you to have some intellectual integrity. Do it. clown i don't think no yeah no so you're not looking at the mountain <laughs> are you talking about like the light energy coming from the top of mountain yeah, okay, okay, let's, okay, let's, let's, cut, let's cut this short i think what, what he's trying to say is when you say you haven't measured mount everest what you what you actually mean is we haven't measured it that accurately right but it has been measured uh, it hasn't been yeah. compared against a physical standard like in your definition so i would agree with your definition yeah, that's right. We're looking at the mountain. Can like you what? show us looking at the curvature so you can make? I'm the saying proper that nobody analogy? slapped a ruler up on a, on Mount Everest. Yeah, you're still train wreck. You still we turn right back to your vomit. I am still exchanging energy with that mountain that I'm measuring. Right? Show us the curvature you to make your analogy. There's light energy. I'm saying light has the, no energy. Let me just summarize. The point being that there's a physical interaction when you look at the mountain to wait, make whatever you're going to call a calculation or measurement, there's a physical interaction with it. Whereas with Earth curvature, there is no physical interaction with it at any point ever. You can't Precisely. see it. Precisely, Nathan. Thank you very much. Yeah, so I've conceded that nobody's ever measured the curvature of the Earth. Right. <laughs> So, so curvature of the, Earth, of the Earth isn't measurable because there is no way to physically interact with it. Ergo, it only right. exists in the maths. Right, it's a calculation. Um, Math yeah, Matthew, but you did intonate earlier that you'd got some form of measurement that you'd then take into calculation to give you your R value. What's pointing out here is there isn't any measurement or interaction at any point. It's all just in calculation and assumption. Or well, it starts from a measurement and then you use that measurement in a calculation. And use in calculation to get your R value. Precisely. All based on what should be, but what isn't. Oh, your analogy right, is a train wreck. Have you ever, well, what do you do when you look at Mount Everest? So, uh, that is a train wreck, son. Yeah, sorry. Uh, maybe I didn't explain very well that the point of, Mount, of bringing up Mount Everest is that we use calculations to determine its height that's um, a measurement. Of, it's a measurement. No. Is the point, Matthew? When we look Matthew, at Mount Everest, you... we're, we're looking.
When, when you did your calculations for Mount Everest, where did you get your initial numbers from? Did you just calculate them or observe Mount Everest? You observe Mount Everest and you measure angles and do and survey. Uh, now when we go to Earth curvature, where is the Mount Everest that we're going to angle to? <laughs> uh, sticks and shadows, Eratosthenes angle. They'd require so, a flat Earth also. Is a shadow the curving Earth that I'm supposedly measuring, or is it something completely different that's not a measurement of the thing that I'm going to calculate? It's a measurement of something completely different. It's a shadow. Right. It's a measurement of something completely different. It's a measure of an angle of a shadow. Right. So was, is that reasonable? Uh, yes, you use assumption? that. No, without an assumption, it's not, not reasonable. Of course, you can't get not it. Not at all. So I think that, this is the point of the analogy. You don't have a mountain to an measure an angle to. So if this not, Earth okay, curve is, so, is only in existence in the maths, and there's no physical interaction to take a measurement of it, and you appreciate that you can only infer it by assumption, do you not see how that yes. seems very unreasonable to any reasonable person after having that explained to them? Of course. So you have to assume that the Earth is a globe in order to try and get a, ra a radius. W what sense does it even mean to get a radius if the Earth is not a globe? Okay. I, I realize that perhaps what? in maths this doesn't necessarily come up very often, but that's a fallacy in logic called begging the question. Right. If you're trying to uh, prove stop, stop. that the Earth stop. is a globe... Stop. Try that once more. Yes, you was your reply. Yes. Uh, Fallacy in logic is your justification for lying to the kiddies, correct? It is a fallacy in logic to say that the, uh, to, to use the radius of the earth to prove that the earth is a sphere, correct? To, to assume your outcome. That's begging the question. Yeah, because you, you're, so, so, yeah, so, it's begging that's the okay. question. I'm not a student of yours. Yet when I talk, you listen to me the one who knows more about your belief in this sphere than you do. I understand the flaw in logic you are employing, Matthew. You said yes, and then started waffling. No, 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 no. no. At the point that you concede that what you're using to justify your assumption is the necessity for the assumption, that is unreasonable to assume. It's a flaw in logic. It is a logical fallacy yes that's where we got to last time this time i don't want you to waffle on when you say yes i will berate you for your use of logical fallacy to lie to children when you educate them about the sphere belief that you have based on flaws in logic now i don't see it as reasonable to lie to children about your assumptions based on flaws in logic yeah that's not reasonable do you understand my disdain for you and my justification for calling you scum when you justify lying to children based on a flaw in logic? Yes, I understand your disdain if that's what you think I'm doing. No, you are doing that. You have just told me how you assume Earth is a sphere because that's the only way you can justify measuring its radius. That is a flaw in logic called begging the question... That's not what I think you're doing. It's what you factually are doing. And it's your justification for lying to students about Earth being a sphere. Now, that is why I have a high level of disdain for teachers in this arena like Conspiracy Cats. Because he knows better. We've told you it's a flaw in logic. You've conceded it's a flaw in logic. So it is not a reasonable justification to tell students Earth's a sphere. Comprende? Eratosthenes is not a proof of the Earth being a sphere. the first word out of his mouth. <laughs> so my disdain, my reasoning for calling you scum is because you've justified it with a logical fallacy. Not reasonable. Not Eratosthenes. Yes, Nathan, or no, Nathan? <laughs> no. No, it's not so reasonable no. to lie to the students based on a flaw in logic you hold. It's not reasonable no. to lie to students ever. So, were you to justify telling the students that Earth's a sphere, having had the flaw in logic pointed out to you, would you now concede that if you continue to do so, it's perfectly reasonable to consider you a scum? Based on the fact you now know yes, it's a right. flaw in logic that you used to justify this education you thought you were giving them? No, you were giving them flaws in logic. 
unreasonable. You're right? misunderstanding what I'm telling them. I'm not using Eratosthenes to prove that the Earth is a sphere. I'm, all I say is that he used that to measure the radius, not to prove that the Earth is a sphere. The, the same radius so, that you said was never measured. That, yeah. That radius. Right. Measure an angle of a shadow from a stick. Why would you assume that the base of that triangle has a curve to it? That is utterly ludicrous. Oh, God. I'm asking him why, when he told us he was measuring an angle from a shadow, that that in any way, beyond the floor in logic that he's already used, where he assumes he's measuring a sphere, why would assume that that angle was actually a curved line meeting a straight line? We already Angles are always between straight lines. He compromised his dumb ass three times with that. You tell the kids that Aristosthenes did what? Repeat. Uh, he calculated the radius. No! Uh, that's not what, not what you, you said, said before, though. That's not what you said. You said measured. <laughs> How did it he measured the, Use that to calculate the radius. Wait, angles, that's, that's straight lines, though, isn't it? Oh, brother. It is. Right, so, so, so does this cognitive dissonance hurt as a justification to brainwash the kiddies into your religious belief of a sphere? Is this no, cogn I think is this cognitive dissonance whole... hurting? No. Well, we've already gone through the angle about, what, seven times? You know, I had a little gloat about how I'm a, a student of drama, like trained as an actor, and it took six attempts for me to get you to concede that you're not going to get a right angle out of a curve, but you're now going back to how, what you've calculated out of the surface of the angle that you measured was curved. That's utterly absurd. We've already compromised you, as, as just been pointed out by QE. I don't know what you're doing. I'm trying to explain what I'm telling the kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hate you. Yeah, I hate you. You're the reason I homeschool. <laughs> You're the reason I homeschool my kids, because I don't want people like you to teach my kids. As you chuckle Wait, about you this. Think shut up! You, you think shut up! Stupid man! Telling my audience why I homeschool. Because you, when pointed out and compromised six or eight times, laugh about it. That's why I hate you. And I wouldn't put my kids in front of you. You think your kids are going to end up as... I am not going to put my kids in front of you, you lying scum. You understand? So what yeah, matters, you, I don't care about your dumb. opinion thereafter. It's a fact. Not something you can question or query. That's a fact. It's my justification why I wouldn't let my kids anywhere near you. Because you'll lie to them. And when somebody points out how you've lied to them, you chuckle. You think it's amusing. That's why I hate you. I hate cats. Hey, all of the people in this arena who know better that have been told, like you've been told, that have had to be dragged around by their short airs with their own bloody words about how wrong they are and how they're using logical fallacies. And at the end of the process, you laugh. You disgust me, teacher. You oh, should yeah, be sacked and anger. you can shut your mouth while I berate you. You disgust me and I do believe you should be fired. The yes, very fact right. that you've come here, have you taken down your video with the incorrect information that you conceded here when you joined? Have you taken that down? No. And I Scum! Fire him! He's more than content to continue to perpetuate his bullshit lies that he's conceded. He hasn't taken his video down. He's not got an ounce of integrity. Have you, Matthew? Take your video down and put one up with the corrections and acknowledge us in them. Acknowledge me personally for the corrections I gave you and acknowledge the world is flat. I'm not asking you to give your heart to Jesus. I'm asking you to have some intellectual integrity. Do it. You can rejoin when you've honoured what I demand you do. That's correct your lies that you conceded when you arrived here. Take down your video with its incorrect nonsense that you've bullshitted around how Earth is assumed to be a spherical radius value based system with a turn value that's equivalent of a clock. No, my friend. Then you can go away and justify to yourself how you lie to your students with the logical fallacies you employ while I retain my disgust and disdain for you as a teacher.